everyone and welcome to day 12 of 40 till 40. So tonight I'm at the beach again but at nighttime. I'm at the pier, just had some great seafood with my bow and um, I want to talk about the dark side today. Today is about the shadow side. So I'm going to outline tonight some of the red flags that I ignored, that I didn't see, that I didn't think about. So I'm gonna share with you some that I had personally, but I'm gonna share some other generalized ones. So the first, the biggest red flag that I ignored was the fact that in I had met the person about 10 to 12 years before and I couldn't remember why things didn't work out. However, um, I found out a little later when I did some research. But I, when I did that research, I found that this person had told me that they were gonna kick my mother effing teeth in my mouth. And I don't know how I could forget that. I had a lot going on at that time. This was around Hurricane Katrina, so maybe I just had a lot of things going on. At that moment when this person told me that and threatened me with those kinds of words, I decided to get out of there. Remember, girl, get out now, okay? Don't wait. So I left. 10 to 12 years later, we reconnected and I couldn't remember why I didn't, I broke up with this person. And so as we continued to date, I looked up, tried to find information on what happened? And I found an email that had that in that. And I decided to say, hey, it's been 10 to 12 years. I mean, people change. We were young, we were in our 20s. And I overlooked it. That was the biggest and most major red flag, okay? Other red flags were, uh, you might look for someone when you see them they're really really charming um, super charming I mean they want to paint the perfect picture of themselves for you there's no issues there's no errors there's there's nothing wrong perfect so very disingenuous you want to look out for someone that has that kind of personality so this person tried to be charismatic and charming with me um, and and exactly what I wanted exactly what I needed. Everything was yes, yes, yes. Whatever you want, whatever you need, I will be, I am he. And that's a big red flag, a very disingenuous person. The other thing um, you might wanna look out, what I saw was some other, other underlying mental health issues. And many narcissists have some other mental health issues and traits because remember, this stems from childhood trauma. And so you can have multiple things going on, anxiety, depression, and things like that, bipolar disorder. And so what I noticed and remembered about the person is that they were high anxiety. And I didn't know what it was in 2005. I just thought, oh, he's crazy, you know, but I had learned about it now. And when I went on a first date with this person, they had that same anxiety. And I remember telling a friend, he was all he was all sweaty and nervous and all, you know, socially awkward, like, I don't know. Um, but I recognized that as there's a mental health issue. Now, can you operate with people with mental health issues? Yes, you can. A lot of us have mental health issues, right? But the thing you wanna look for is, is it going unchecked? Is it going untreated? This is the time that you are gonna wanna share your background, your trauma background, their trauma background. Like, what happened to you? And more importantly, what have you done about it? What are you doing about it? So what I was seeing was it was something unchecked and I thought, you know, maybe I can work on it with him and things like that. Um, but the person has to want to work on it themselves. And so um, this was something unchecked. This was something this person didn't want to admit or um, really, really own. Um, and so that's 
a that's a red flag. You see something and they're not identifying it, they're not treating it, or anything like that. Big thing for a narcissist. Remember we talked about the Trump narcissist, right? It is a big red flag with that kind of person that they have low self-esteem, very low confidence. And if you are a confident woman, remember I'm talking a confident woman, women, um, boss women, you know, this person is very, uh, has very low self-esteem and they, they kind of cringe at you having a, a lot of confidence. It's first, it's attractive to them, but later you'll see them begin to kind of derail and try to degrade you, try to bring you down. The other thing you'll see is a negative uh, vibration. You know, they, they're negative about everything. The person I was with complained about everything. And I don't like complainers, but I especially don't like male complainers. And so this person finds fault in everything, everyone. There's always something wrong. That's the other thing. Um, one other trait is when um, when they go after goals or they want to complete something to achieve anything, um, they do it out of vengefulness. And so they're not doing it because for personal development, I want to be better, I want to, you know, be this or that in life. They are doing it because they want to show people who they are. They want to get get back at people that told them they weren't anything. And in my case, my person told me that they're, in their childhood, they were told they weren't S-H-I-T and never was gonna be S-H-I-T. So they had this broken record in their mind about how inadequate they were and anything they would put their, it, whether it was a health goal, education goal, career goal, it was always about, I'm gonna show them, I'm gonna show these people so anyone that is really concentrated on the haters and you know not just like I want to be better I just want to be better for myself that's a big red flag okay so these red flags as I said some of them I ignored and thought that I could fix them or deal with them you know they just needed help needed to be steered into the right direction for mental health and things like that um, and, and sometimes you just don't even think about it like one thing I didn't think about is somebody with low self-esteem like that I have to kind of wind up. You remember those toys that you wind up to get them going? So I would always have to pep talk this person, wind them up. You know, they would be depressed or feel down. That broken record continues to play. And I would have to use all of my energy, all of my confidence, my esteem to raise them up because they always were deflated. And so those are some signs as well. Um, and red flags when you're just putting out so much effort, so much energy for this person um, and they're, they're sucking it away, they're draining you and they're trying to bring you down too. They don't like your high vibration. And so you might have heard like if you're a light, darkness doesn't like you. You have high vibration, people with low vibration, you're irritating them. And so I became a nuisance for this person because of my optimism, because of my, uh, positive attitude and things like that. So those are a few red flags that I wanted to share with you that I ignored or I didn't see uh, that I want you to be aware of, all right? So if this helped you, you liked it, um, go ahead and comment, let me know, but I'll see you later.